You're watching the PIX11 News at 10. The subway system is owned by New York City. The, the subway NTA system. Has been controlled by the Excuse state since me. 1965. Can you, can you stop interrupting? Can you stop interrupting? Can you stop lying? Wow, heated debate mm -hmm. tonight between Governor Cuomo and his Democratic challenger, Cynthia Nixon. The two clashing over transit, corruption, marijuana, a lot more than that. Thanks for staying with us. I'm John Muller. And I'm Shirley Chan. After months of attacks, they finally squared off face to face. It is the only time the two will debate before the September primary. We've got team coverage for you tonight. Corey Chambers is here with a political expert to break down tonight's war of words. But we're going to begin with PIX 11's Christian Benavides live at Hofstra University where that showdown took place. Christian. Shirley John, sparks were flying. Nixon on the attack. Governor Cuomo defending his record. Now he's leading by 30 points. But who will voters choose? It was a fiery debate at Hofstra University, pitting incumbent Governor Andrew Cuomo against former Sex in the City actress Cynthia Nixon, who tried to paint Cuomo as a corrupt and out of touch politician who takes money from real estate companies. And I don't think it's any coincidence that we have one of the largest housing crises that, we, that we've ever seen in this state when the number one contributor to Andrew Cuomo's campaigns are the real estate industry and corporate developers. Also taking a jab at Cuomo over former close aide Joe Percoco, sentenced on corruption charges. Cuomo firing back with Nixon looking flustered at times. The subway system is owned by New York City. The, the subway NTA has system. Been controlled Ex by the excuse state since me. 1965. Can you, can you stop interrupting? Can you? Painting her as someone who would be unable to govern. As far as her idea on the uh, Taylor Law, I think it's a terrible mm -hmm. idea. The subway, which we've talked about, which is so important, that could go on strike, and then there would be no subway. And out here in front of Hofstra University, union workers and organizers are here showing their support for Cuomo. Over 100 union workers showing their support. While Nixon's rally, not even able to start on time. Only a handful of people showing up 30 minutes after the scheduled time. Cuomo has 44 times the campaign cash that Nixon has. But what do Democratic voters think? I felt that Cynthia Nixon had a lot more energy. Um, she seemed to resonate a lot more with millennials because she's more interested in like affecting the change that we want to see. If voting were held today, you think you would stick with Cuomo, why? Well, me being a union member and a labor leader, I believe that he's, he's the man for the job. Democratic elected officials also chiming in. We're tired of seeing the influence of money corrupting our politics and the influence it has on our elected officials and on policies that are being made. That's what she's speaking to and she wants to make sure that that's addressed. And if you're for marriage equality, if you're for the investment in infrastructure, if you're for the investment in public housing, if you're for job creation, if you're for immigrant rights, if you're for women's rights, how could you not be with Andrew Cuomo? Primary day is on September 13th. That's less than two weeks away. We're live outside Hofstra University. I'm Cristian Benavides, PIX11 News. All right, hot stuff there tonight, Christian. Let's keep talking about that debate.